Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. Well, I may have wandered into a time machine, because this isn't Space Engineers, this is Medieval Engineers, another game by the same company, Keen Software House, and it's kind of a, well, it's kind of a cross between Space Engineers and a few other games, I guess. Um, it reminds me a lot of Seven Days to Die, and and maybe even a little bit more Minecrafty in the way you start the game. But one way or another, I thought it was time that I gave this one a try. I've played around just enough so that I won't completely be useless, but I don't actually know this game very well. You can see on the screen that there's really a lot of things you can do, but it's going to be a little while before we get to the point where we can do some of this craziness. I'm really looking forward to this with all the gearing and and crazy contraptions. I mean, that's a windmill, apparently. It's kind of cool. So, let's jump into a new world. I'm going to just choose the default settings all the way around. Medieval Earth. But we are going to rename this to Epic Tech S0E1. Now... You might wonder why I'm making this Season 0 instead of Season 1, and if you're not familiar with my channel or just haven't happened to run across this information yet, the way that I do season numbering is Season 1 starts when I feel like I've got a, got a good grasp of the game and I can actually teach you something, uh, especially if you're a new user, that sort of thing. Season 0 is for when I don't really have a good grasp of the game yet, where I'm still learning myself, but I thought you might be entertained in watching me play for a little bit. So, what I have learned is that this here is your, you know, this is obviously where you start, but this isn't mine. This is just kind of, I don't even know why this is here. But, we can't even build here. Also, I can't build anything because I need to go and collect wooden sticks. You can see the tutorial up in the upper left-hand corner. So we're going to go grab some sticks and stones. Hopefully not break any bones in the process. Get it? No? Okay. Sorry. I apologize. All right. So some trees you can just hit F and you can gather because they're small enough that you'd be able to break them with your hands. Bigger trees, you're going to need an axe, and we'll get there in a minute. Let's see, there's got to be some other stones. I'm going to grab some berries while I'm at it, because eventually I'm going to want to eat. And there we go, there's a small stone. We just need one of those guys. Alright, now, now it's saying to craft a stone axe. So I'm going to hit I, and I've got some sticks and a stone, and I can make myself an axe. Sound familiar? If you've played Minecraft, or Seven Days to Die, or one of many other games like it, this is going to look fairly familiar. So now, using our brand new axe... Wait, I can just gather that one. And that one. It's good to have sticks around. Um, here, let's do... This guy is pretty big. I can just click. Well, I am holding down the mouse button. By the way, do not stand in the way of that tree. It will crush you. So now we can just chop that up and grab a log. And just like Minecraft, I can stick a gigantic log in my back pocket and walk away, which is which is great. You know, I wish I could do that in real life. And up here, we're going to actually get more than just logs. We're going to get some, some of these branches. They call them scrap wood branches. We'll go ahead and finish this up. And then we're going to make ourselves a crafting table. There we go. Okay, so let's make ourselves a crafting table. Same general principle, crafting table, craft. All right. So... You'll see up there on the hill, there's that place right there. And there's another place up here, which is called... I can't remember what it's... This one, oh, that's right. This whole area is called the Safe Area Engineers Guild House Merrick. I, I I don't know. I know this has to do with factions and or, or houses, that kind of thing. 
So these guys have a crafting table, and I can use it, but I can't actually break anything, and I can't create anything in this area. Oh, they even have a... I didn't even notice this. They have a little cooking fire. That's kind of cool. But if I try to break something... Uh, let's see. If I try to break something, if I hold down F, that would disassemble this crafting table, but it won't let me here. And if I pull out my crafting table and try and place it, it's going to tell me I'm not permitted to build here. You see that blue glow over there? That... Ooh, I'm on another rock. Give me a rock. Okay. That blue glow... Bleh, blue glow is the borderline between this claimed area and... This area, which is just kind of open to use by anybody. So we could set up our homestead right here. But I kind of want to look around just a little bit. Last time I did, I, I, when I started a little world just to make sure I wasn't completely lost and useless in this game, I, um, I started right in this little foresty area here. But I think this time I might go just a little bit further away. Here we go. This is a nice spot. So this is kind of a little, I don't know, hill. <laughs> I guess it's just a hill. There's nothing, you know, maybe it's maybe it's a crest. We can call it a crest. You know, just, just for a little bit of a reference for those who have watched some of my other stuff. We're going to call this the crest. <laughs> anyway, there's a, a nice valley out here. And I happen to know that, oh, Haha. <laughs> you see this discolored area right here? That has iron in it. So we actually are going to stay right here. Because that iron's going to come in handy soon. And then having all this wood nearby is also going to be handy. So we'll... Yeah, this is a good spot. Beautiful view, too. Alright. So let's go ahead and set down this crafting table. There we go. Sweet. All right, so it says that I'm going to need to craft a bed. So the first thing I need for a bed, if I click on this, is I need timber. And a timber requires logs. Now, well, luckily, I've got logs. So I can drag those to the crafting table, hit craft, and now it turns those logs into timber, and I can make a bed. And there we go. Put that into my inventory, and I have now completed that process. So let's go ahead and set our bed down, maybe ooh, right here. Why not? Um, I can claim this bed by hitting F. And we get the loud horns. Oh, good grief. Now it's time for a shovel. Let's make a shovel. All right, so a shovel is going to require wooden sticks, which we have some of, and another piece of timber, which we don't have, so we'll make it. And now, where's the shovel? Craft. There we go. And let's dig, it says collect dirt. I happen to know that there's some uh, iron right over here, so we might as well start here. What is this? Oh, it's a pumpkin. Cool. Can I get it? Why can't I get it? I should be able to grab that pumpkin. Maybe because it's partially underground? Let's find out. I made it explode. Never mind. Okay. All right. Well, we'll get back to this. So we've got our dirt, and now it wants me to collect more small stone. And I think that it's saying that I can sift through dirt to make stones. So we can click on this, and we can hit craft. If I hold down shift, though, so if I hit once, 
it crafts one, and I get three stones. But if I shift-click, it'll do nine of them. And then I'll run out of dirt, and I'm just right-click to remove it from the crafting queue. And now I should have... There we go. Now I can create a campfire. Campfire requires nine stones. Put those in there. Rinse and repeat. And we'll place this down. Yeah, we'll put it near the bed. That sounds like fun. And we get the loud horns again. Okay, so now it's saying that I need to collect berries, mushrooms, and roots. So let's go do that. Well, we got lots of berries. Uh, there's roots, and I collected a mushroom earlier. So now we need to make some soup. Oh, it's over here. So I happen to know that scrap wood branches make some good fuel. And let's put the berries and mushrooms and the roots in there, and we can create mushroom soup. Craft. One thing to watch out for is this fire will use all the fuel once it's done making the thing it's making, but you can hit douse and it pauses that. So I'm going to grab my soup and there we go. And if I hit six right now, we get the horns and I start filling up my food bar, which is handy. All right. It wants me to go get some more logs. And apparently it's time for a mallet. Craftify me a mallet. Thank you. There we go. By the way, shift click will also put all of a certain item into the crafting table, but there's only room for seven items in here. So just be aware of that. So now if you're used to space engineers, this will be a little more familiar. So if I hit G, I'm going to find that there's a whole bunch of things that I can make right now. Not a whole bunch, actually. A fairly small amount in comparison. And it wants to make a large stockpile for logs. So, I can drag that down to right here, but it kind of defaults that for you so that you know what you're doing. <laughs> or so that you're not completely lost. I can now put this right there. Okay. And... Just like in Space Engineers, this place is kind of the beginning of the item, but it doesn't complete it. So we need to use our wooden mallet, which is kind of this world's version of the welder. And I need more timber. Okay. So we've completed our log storage, and if I hit F on that, I can actually drop all the logs in there. And it's kind of cool. It actually shows like it's loaded logs in there, which is neat. All right, so now we need to collect some more timber. Now, which, of course, I'm going to need a log for, so let me go grab one of those. That should be enough, I believe. There we go. And it wants me to make a research table. So I'm going to go ahead and craft that up. And now we can place this down. And we really don't need this to be anywhere close. I'll put this over here next to my bed. Oh, that's cool. I never noticed that they actually snap together like that. That'll work. Yeah, that's cool. So, the research table allows you to learn new recipes, which is something that we're not used to in Space Engineers. Uh, but this unlocks the ability to make more things. And each one of these actually unlocks additional things that you can unlock. And so you can kind of work your way down. I don't know if, it's, if it fills this area, because honestly, I have unlocked two of these, and that's it. And, and and then that's all I know about the game. 
<laughs> so what I'm teaching you right now is everything I know. So the tutorial wants us to unlock carpentry. So we're going to do, let's see, timber, large diagonal timber, another crafting table, and another wooden mallet. Okay, we can do all that. All right, research carpentry. That guy, oh, we have to put all the items over there. There, 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 and there. Whoops, not both of them, whatever. Craft. And now I can just right click on this and I have unlocked carpentry. And the horns go. Okay. With carpentry, I now have just added a whole bunch of things. Look at that. Including some fun stuff. So this wooden crate right here will hold a whole bunch of a single item while this small chest will hold lots of different items, but not as much of them. And then there's smaller stockpiles for things, and I can eventually get a deer head on a plaque, a windmill blade, an impaled skull. Mm. Oh, that's right, and the wardrobe here? Oh, it needs metal parts. Um, the wardrobe actually lets you change your clothes. So that's the end of the tutorial portion. And now it's kind of up to you to figure out what to do next. So what I'm going to do is gather myself a few more logs and start building a bit of a homestead. Oh, you see over there? That's a deer. I love the deer in here. Apparently, eventually, you can hunt them. I have not yet gotten anywhere close to where I can do that. But if you <coughs> run up to them, they make noises, and then they run away. Bye, deer. So I just noticed that in my inventory, I have one piece of a treasure map. I have no idea where I got that. I didn't know that this existed. Cool, huh? Well, someday we'll figure out what that's all about. Neat. So, I actually want to go and grab some of this iron over here. Because, let's see, where'd it go? Did I just walk right past it? No, here it is. Um, I, in the game where I was just testing out and playing, I found this, you know, that I could gather some iron. But I didn't actually do anything with it. Oh, there we go. So when you hear that sound, that means that you're going to start gathering, well, in this case, stones, it looks like. Well, that's not useful. Let's see. There we go. Now I have some iron. And I'm at the bottom of a hole. All right, so I have bits of iron now. Let's see what we can do. Iron works. Okay. So it requires iron ore. Ten of that. We've got that. It requires another mallet, a torch, some dirt, and small stones. I can do that. I need a little more dirt. Oh, I don't want to get all my stones. Let's stick ten over there. Get a little bit more dirt, a wooden mallet, and a torch. All right, so let's see. Should be able to now with a mallet. That. It's more dirt. There we go. Ironworks. Craft. And right click. Ooh, just opened up a bunch more things. So I'm betting I've got new stuff in here. Ooh, a wall torch. Ah, metal parts. A smithy. Okay, iron ingots. <laughs> How do I make an iron ingot? Oh, furnace. Dirt and rocks. I think I can manage to do that. Okay. Dirt. Hey, look at that. A furnace. Craft. All 
All right, so. Where do we want to stick our furnace? Oh, we'll just stick it right here. Eventually, I'm going to actually make a, like, building. <laughs> okay, what can we do here? Look at that. We can make metal parts. We can smelt iron ore to ingots. Well, that's something I want to do. Where'd my iron ore go? Oh, I used it all to research. <laughs> I gotta go get more. All right. So we put that there. And then... Oh, we need fuel. There we go. And craft. Two of them. Douse. We now have two iron ingots. Okay, cool. So now, metal parts into ingots. Oh, so I'm, I'm going to need the smithy to turn the ingots into metal parts, I assume? Oh, this is all for turning things back into other things. But before I do anything else, I need to make myself something to store stuff. Because I have lots of stuff that needs to be stored. So let's do a wooden crate, which is going to need... A bunch of timber. And then I'm also going to make a large... Ch oh, no, not a large chest. A small chest. There we go. I'll make a small chest right now. So Q and E rotate around. And I'm going to put a... I'll put this chest like that. And like I said, this can hold anything. So we'll stick our treasure map in there. And we don't need to carry around the wooden mallet all the time. That's good. And we're going to make two of these crates. These crates are really handy. Put that on my hotbar. All right, so I'll put the crates... There we go. See how that symbol is right there? So that symbol, uh, let's put it here. I keep changing my mind. Oh, here, we'll connect it up to this. There we go. We'll put... There we go, just like this. So when you put something in here, like rocks, you actually get to see a little symbol of that item on it. And if I put um, sticks in this one, there we go. So now we have logs, rocks, and sticks. <laughs> These are the kinds of things that we have in large quantity. There we go. A little bit of mining, and I've got a full inventory again, which is why I wanted to do this. Oh, I don't have any sticks. And let's start making ourselves a whole bunch of ingots. So, shift craft. And we can stop that. Wow, that goes pretty quick. That's really nice. Okay, so I've got six ingots. How much do we need to make a... Let's see. How much do we need to make a smithy? We needed five. A log and some timber. We can do that. Sweet. Making good headway toward something. I don't know what. Okay, we'll put our smithy right here next to the forge. That makes a lot of sense. Nice. Okay, so this is where we can start making metal parts. Ooh, a mace and a brazier. Hmm. We haven't even finished the first day. Uh, the days here are two hours long by default. And the seasons are four days long, I think. So it's going to take 16 days, which is 32 hours of gameplay to get through a whole quote-unquote year. That's that, I'm just making that up as I go along. It sounds about right. 
but I have no idea what that actually means. I just saw that in the configurations. Well, I think it's time to actually make myself like an actual building. So let's work on that. I thought I saw... Oh, no. It's a little bit weird because they've kind of mixed the space engineers and Minecraft feel. So you've got the crafting thing and then you get one and you stick it in your inventory and then you can place it like in, like in Minecraft. But they also have the G menu. And with the G menu, you can like place things and then build them up like in Space Engineers. So it's kind of, it's a mix, which is interesting. So let's do wooden supports. I'm thinking I'm going to put my house there. That is how I'm going to build my house. So we'll put another support there, there, there. Oh, how big should I make my house? Let's make it nice and big. Like that. Sure, why not? Not enough components. All right. And then I also want a floor on that. There we go. Thinking just a regular, normal old floor, but we'll see. Does it, does it stick? And I guess there's like rounded stuff and all kinds of things. Any wood sticks? Oh yeah, good. It does do that. Uh, sort of. That was odd. Do I have to do two? I'm confused. Okay, I'm going to need timber for that as well, huh? Alright. Time to chop down things. Mushroom, mushroom. All right. So here's the beginning of my house. Don't really understand why I have to place twice. Maybe somebody can tell me about that in the comments. I need more timber. You know what? If you right click, you can actually remove items. And I'm thinking I'm just a little too early with the whole, you know, nine square thing. So we're going to just do six for now. Neat. I actually have a floor. Let's see if we can find walls. Are walls a thing I can do? Floor. Ah, there we go. Ooh, with windows even. Okay, well, let's see. We can do a regular wall, wooden wall, and then a wall with a door. So I kind of want my door to be facing over here. And apparently there's more than one kind. Hmm. Wooden wall with entrance, wooden wall with door. Ah, okay. So I want the door. Ah, because it actually includes the door. That's nice. So I guess you can... Okay, hang on. So hold F and I can... Ooh. I can actually set up access options. That's cool. Neat. All right, so let's put up a wall with a window over here. And there. Cool. So all you Space Engineers fans out there, you notice anything interesting? 
I am putting more than one block in a single square. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get a roof. Quick, before the sun goes down. So, wooden roof tops. Wow. Oh, I see. So you do angles. Okay, well, let's do this. Oh, how do I... How do I put that there? I'm going to have to find a way to get up there. Oh. No jetpack in this game. I wonder if I can make a ladder or something. There's stairs. Well, let's, let's try stairs. Of course, I should probably put stairs here, too. There we go. I like that. Hey, hey, I can get up here. Cool. Wait a minute. I still can't put this up? Oh, that's right. This, this game has actual understanding of supports. So if you don't support your stuff, it'll fall down. So I probably have to put some kind of support beam or something in the middle. Red wizard needs food badly. You know, I saw in this list of things a brazier, right? Yeah. And it's just two iron ingots. Do we have that? We have one. Yeah, let's go get another one. All right, so a brazier. Okay. Go see if we can set this up in our house. Right in the middle. Oh, it doesn't require fuel? Okay, that's pretty cool. It's the graphical not happiness. Okay. I should also look into some more actual, like, research like metal hardening, and then stoneworks means I can make things like, oh, I can actually make stone houses with that. Mechanics, this is where I really want to get into stuff. Ooh, ropes, how do you make ropes? From weaving, which means finding flax, okay. And then wheels and additional cooking stuff. Oh wow, you need a lot of stuff out of that. Okay, cabbage, pumpkins, and berries. That involves farming, I'm sure. Okay, well, I mean, I'm sure I can gather it. it might take a while. All right, well, you know what? I think since the day is gone, we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. That was a pile of fun for me. I am definitely going to do more of this. This is neat. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoy this series and this game. Um, definitely tell me what you think. Tell me what you want to see me make. Tell me what you want to see me do. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Because <laughs> um, if you've played this game before, you probably saw me do all kinds of horriblenesses because I don't know what I'm doing. That's just a thing. I'm going to turn on my brazier again. That's... It's just, there's something wrong with the graphics on that. I don't know. Anyway. I'm looking forward to making all kinds of fun things. I also am going to have to name this land. I just realized. So, okay. You guys have a lot to comment on. Make sure to put those comments down there. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't watched my channel before or you haven't hit that button yet. And as always, I'll see you next time on Epic Tech. Now I'm gonna go chop a bunch of wood.